Like right now, we are on our way to go see an amazing artist. His name is Daniel, and he'll tell us a little bit more about himself and the artwork that he does. Dean. Daniel. Nice to meet you, brother. In winter time, you've got to pick those days between the rain. They oh, happen. Yeah. They look just like this. Exactly. I'm Daniel from Malawi. Yeah, artist. This is what I do for a living. Tell me a little bit about the themes in your art. Well, I'm into tribes. Oh, things that I've seen in my life. That's what I normally do when I'm drawing. Back home, there's stories that I can put on a, on a painting. Back home, we put a lot of uh, elephants. Well, this has been like my life. My life since I was young. Okay. Yeah, I admire doing art, and then when I turned to Cape Town, that's where I started doing something different, like tribes. You can see this is a tribe from yes. Kenya. Okay. Like, uh, we call it the Maasai. Yes. So it's more abstract. So yes. one, we call it the market scenario. It's African market. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's more abstract as well, but they're carrying this, some fruits as the ladies yep. going out for a market. How long does it take you to make a painting like this? Well, always give example of this abstractness. Yeah. yeah. Because all the colors in the studio, you put them on this on this kind of a painting, of which you can take you like two days, three days. Two to three days. Two to three days, yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of work, more special on those ones. I've got a page on Facebook. Okay. And then they also get me through my telephone numbers. Cool. Yeah, I always give them my emails, they always get to me through all the stuff. We're going to put the links at the bottom of this video. Oh yeah? So there you're going to find Daniel there. Cheers, Raz. What's happening? Any events coming up? Uh, at the moment we have a brunch going on. It's a guest chef collaboration with Cape Town's Best Chefs. And it's about to be a huge celebration. You should join us inside. So they've redone the interior of Caprice and it's looking hot. That was a fun little invitation to Caprice. <laughs> Time to go hit the sand. Bay is definitely one of the most spectacular beaches in and around Cape Town. You've got the mountain views, you've got the 12 Apostles. That over there is uh, the side of Table Mountain, in case you're wondering. You can see at the top of there, that's uh, the cable car station from the side. And um, you've got the beautiful turquoise ocean that usually implies that the water is 
very, very cold, but um, on a summer's day, there's nothing better than diving into the cold ocean, getting back here on the beach and just chilling out. says drop and go. Yeah. Does that mean you can hire it here and where can you drop it? You can drop it in Sea Point, uh, Vata Kai Street and also Waterfront. And how much are they? It's uh, 6 rand for the first hour, 90 for 2 hours, up to 2 rand for a full day. Okay. Quite a lot So I'm on one of the upcycle bicycles. It started originally in Sea Point by the promenade and you can drop it off as a drop and go system in Camps Bay. So come join us, it'll be fun. 